All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining today. This is TAM Lab 113, uh, enabling MFA in vSphere 7. And so my name is Bill. Uh, I'm a staff TAM here at VMware, and uh, I'm going to be leading you through the session today. So big disclaimer here. Uh, the solutions that we're addressing during the session, um, they're seen across a number of our customers, and they're easily accessible for these kinds of purposes. This is not an endorsement by VMware for any particular brand or product in the marketplace. Um, you can do other, use other solutions out there to do the same kind of things. So I just wanna be very clear, we're not saying that any solution in here is the go-to. These third-party services are complex. Um, there are a lot of architectural pieces to making them work you know, very effectively at an enterprise level. Things like how do I push my user accounts up to the service? What kind of policies am I going to apply? I'm not even going to try and address those level, that level of architecture. Um, because again, from the vSphere environment, we don't care, right? As long as ADFS and the provider can actually uh, make it work together and we get a token at the end, that's good. So there could be some questions on like, how do I synchronize users and things like that? It's going to be, it depends. There's a lot of different ways to handle that. So with Duo, we have our applications and we're just going to set this up real quick. Um, it just so happens they have one called ADFS. And this is what we're going to leverage. So we're going to protect an ADFS application. Inside here, you can see there's some details and this is going to be used in setting up the integration. So there's a key, a seeker key and an API host name. If I scroll through, we can apply some policies. Um, there's a default global policy. I'm just gonna, I, I created one here just called TamLab MFA. The settings in the application policy override some of the settings in the global, which is, which is totally fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and hit save. Oh, we're gonna give this a name. Now this name in this instance shows up on my MFA app on my phone. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and save this configuration. So now it's an application that can, we can, you know, service this. Going back to ADFS, I'm going to go ahead and install this adapter, right? So this is an integration between Duo and ADFS. Um, so let's go ahead and start that. It's going to ask again for the integration key. Let's dump that over here. It's going to ask for the secret key. We're going to dump that over here and the API host name. So by having this adapter set up and mapping it to these settings, um, we're good to go. There's reasons why you might wanna check or uncheck these boxes. That's up to you. Um, if we have multiple ADFS servers in our farm, you have to make sure that we're using a shared key. There's only one. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and hit install. What's really nice here is um, in this instance, Duo is telling us we got to do something manual, um, which is go enable this policy. Um, and we'll see what that means here or this, yeah, the policy here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and finish. Um, there is one more thing here that I need to do that's unique to um, ADFS 2019, and it's You'll see it with different integrations to different MFA providers. Um, but there is a security component where ADFS wants to be extra sure that it's showing authentication as you're expecting it to. And you're not doing like a man in the middle or something else. Um, oh, copy that. There we go. So essentially, we're creating this security policy. And we're saying it's okay to set a iframe, and we'll see that here in a minute, um, going to this location for Duo. So that's something, again, that um, is unique to 2019 and probably going forward. So if you're in 2012 or 2016, you might not run into this. So let me, uh, at this point, we have to restart ADFS services for that to, to take hold. Okay, so let's head over here now. 
Uh, this is the exciting stuff. Um, if we look at authentication methods, there's an additional one over here, additional authentication methods. I'm gonna edit that. And you can see duo authentication for ADFS shows up. So now we can actually say, hey, here's another one. Let's go ahead and use it. You can see a CA is in there or out of the box Azure MFA. There's a whole lot of setup for Azure MFA. Um, so it's not as easy as just checking the box. But um, for the time being, we're gonna stick with duo. And then the last thing that we need to do is go to our application and require MFA, right? So we remember early when we created this app, we had an access control policy that said permit everyone. Now I wanna permit everyone, but require MFA. Okay, so let's, let's actually do this. All right, so I'm logging in my ADFS vCenter. I'm gonna log in as my domain account. Okay, so this is looking good. It looks different. I'm gonna log in as me again here because it's asking, right? It's handling the authentication. This little duo box right here is the iframe I was talking about that this command authorized. If you don't have this running, it's gonna come back with like a, I can't help you message. Um, in that little box and you have to go hunt down what that means. So I just wanna call out that command results in this being displayed. And again, you might have to do that for other MFA providers. So I'm gonna come in here and I say, send me a push. And on my phone, I got a little message that says, are you logging into TamLab vSphere MFA? I'm gonna go ahead and hit approve. There we are, I'm in. And as an admin, I can see my data center.